create a country, there are different steps. The first one is related to referencing. So we get a database from the rally promoters or satellite data. We're very, very lucky to be able to work now with satellite. It allows us to have a one-to-one -one scale about the real locations of different countries. From there, we generate a landscape that now allows us to work over much larger distances, about 30 kilometers by 30 kilometers, and that opens up the field of vision. It allows us to create landmarks and points of interest that players can use and will remember. It's a result of lots of analysis depending on the different country. What are the specifics of each country? What's the essence of the rally? Knowing that, of course, in a real rally, a real special, stages can last an average of 30, 40, 50, even 60 kilometers. On this game, we use much shorter lengths. So the goal is to successfully reproduce the essence of the original rally whilst making condensed stages over much shorter distances. We have a whole system of dynamic weather now that appears in WRC 8. Beyond being able to give players different conditions during a special, it also accentuates the immersion related to each particular country. In Mexico, it will be much warmer, for instance, so the weather conditions relate to that and will have an impact specific to Mexico. However, in Monte Carlo or Sweden, we have much wetter surfaces that will influence the feel of driving, the visibility and therefore the difficulty of the stage. And of course how the beginning to the end the player will have to manage and anticipate the conditions. The weather will not only impact the visual, but it will also impact the feel of game. C8, we have a lot of new countries that we create from scratch and for those, for example Monte Carlo or Turkey, we've based it on real topological data. With the data, thanks to a software, we reproduce the maps one to one scale. We define an area with the level designer to create up to three stages in the same open world map. And once we have done this step, we improve the terrain in the software, we export it for the first time, integrate it into our game so that the level designer can do tests in order to create prototype stages and see what they need as modifications, because sometimes the maps do need into extra details. For example, in Monte Carlo, it was necessary to add an entire mountain because they needed to replicate a certain vista. We will try to create a terrain which fits the needs of the level designer. Once this step is done, we finalize it and the level designer uses their magical skills to create the stages and maps we know them today.